Hi guys. This morning I just want us to look at what um, the word of God. I know it's sometimes it's difficult for us to come to terms with the word of God when realities are there, deteriorating health situation, bad financial situation, situation of the country and all those. But there's something about the word of God that we all need to um, reason well be able to know what to do when it comes to situations like that. I know what a lot of us want to do is how to rationalize our situations and be able to come out of a particular struggle that we are currently facing or currently going through. But there's something about the word of God. The Bible says in Psalm 19 that thy word has by hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. You know, sometimes I see myself looking at people and begin to because sometimes my mind begins to become judgmental when I begin to analyze people's conditions and situations. But sometimes I went to God in prayer because I knew it was not right about how uh, to see people around me in my environment. And God gave me that particular word, Psalm 119, verse 7. And when I went this, you know, like bombardment begins to come into my mind about a particular person in my environment or something like that, I just begin to say to myself that I would have been in my that I'm not against you. And at that particular point, I discovered that. These kind of things that come into my spirit or my mind, rather, not my spirit, begin to disappear. One thing I know is the fact that the devil cannot stand the word of God. So, also, our situation cannot stand the word of God. If it is a deteriorating health condition, if it is a deteriorating financial situation, if it is a bad, about jobs, or about our, our marriages, or about our children, or about our homes, or about, you know, there's something, something specific that is even more difficult to discuss with anybody on time. Or whatever you might want to talk to I think about. I've noticed that each time I go back to God, talking about saying or prophesying or confessing this word to myself, to my spirit, then my mind begins to receive the word of God into my spirit. And that particular thing that is flooding my heart begins to disappear. If we also look at Psalm 119, verse 49, it says that remember the word upon which the thou have caused thy servant to hope. You know, you also look at, compare that, you know, that word brings hope even into your spirit. It's, it, it, I, I can't use the word, I can't use the word, um, I, I'm looking for the right word to use right, right now. Because the word of God works miraculously each time you say the word of God back to yourself. Sometimes before you do that transaction, sometimes before, you know, you make that call and say, please, I need his help. Sometimes it might just it might not take us more than just 30 seconds or one minute to just look back at the word of God and begin to say the same to ourselves, no matter what we are feeling. The God that your feelings begin to change as the word begins to sink into your spirit. You know, and comparing that Psalm 19 verse 49 that talks about the Father, remember the word upon which I have called thy servant to go. Psalm um Hebrews 6:19 also says that this hope. You know, the word of God is what we have as an anchor to our soul. The anchor gives stability to a ship. So there's no how you go through the word of God that the word of God does not give stability. You know, it springs from your spirit, then to your mind. Then when it comes to your mind, then you now reflect in your environment and the, your environment now begins to obey the word of God because nothing, nothing, I tell you, nothing physical can actually stand for the God. It was nothing spiritual as long as it's God. Everything, everything, physical or psychological, emotional, economical, political, must submit to the word of God. And that's why you see that you are, for you to succeed or to do anything in life, your life or everything must submit to the word, that hope that you have in your life. And when you begin to dwell more in the word of God, they now begin to see that your life begins to obey and your situation begins to conform to the word of God that you keep speaking day by day. Thank you so much. I hope you get this. But there's something about dwelling in the word of God. That is the key point. When you dwell in the word of God, your situation and environment will definitely be transformed and begin to conform to the word of God. God bless you. The name is Kudwa Akman.